Hey there guys, what is going on? We are back and we are taking a look at the newest gun in Cold War Season 6 and that is the LARPA SMG. Now as you can probably tell by the title and of course the thumbnail, I don't think very much of this thing, but it's not as bad as people have been making it out to be. If you are getting headshots with this thing, you're getting about a 240 millisecond TTK with the class that we've chosen here, but outside of those headshots, it does have a TTK value of about 320-ish, 330 milliseconds, which is like really, really low <laughs> for the SMG category. But if this thing was even slightly faster killing, like just slightly, like 300 milliseconds, this would probably be one of my favorite guns in the game. I think the iron sight is very, very interesting. I don't think it's very good, but even if they adjusted it again, just slightly, make it slightly more visible again, it would be one of the cleaner iron sights going around. Just while we do get into the best LARPA SMG class setup here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on because that massively helps me out and I really, really do appreciate it. Plus, while you are there, make sure you do hit that like button as well because that really does help get these videos to more eyes as well as help cut through the YouTube algorithm. So let's take a look at the LARPA SMG here. This is a very, very interesting weapon in this game. One of the interesting things about the LARPA as well is the fact that you actually get very, very good attachments. By like level 20 with this thing, you've almost got the full list of attachments that we're after, which is actually very, very cool. In terms of the secondary though, as usual, we are starting off with our 410 Ironside here. I just think this is a cool addition to the game in the season six battle pass, a very cool addition. You get those one shot kills when you aim down sight. But again, the attachments on this thing aren't super relevant this particular class setup. Then we move to the tactical, which is the stim shot, as usual, giving us that extra chance per life is very, very important in most gunfights when we do take some damage. We move to the lethal slot, which is, of course, the Semtex. Again, this is just the option that I prefer. You can take a C4, frag, whatever you prefer in this slot. Even a Molotov, if you are still struggling to unlock the LARPA, this can help you get there. Then, of course, the field upgrade. We have the field microphone for giving us that mini advanced UAV-like effect on the minimap. Really, really nice advantage here, just having more information than your enemies. Then we do have that per greed here. You can take gunfighter with this thing if you do want to have an optic on this thing, which is I guess, kind of a recommendation that I would go with. We'll talk about it more in the attachments. But we do have per greed here for six perks, and they are as follows with black jacket, forward intel, scavenger, assassin, ninja, and ghost here. So as I said, with the LARPA, this is a very, very interesting weapon in this game. It's got various different barrels that all do sort of different things. They increase our damage, they increase our fire rate, they increase our recoil control. It's all very strange. But which one's the best one here? Well, that is actually the extended barrel because this does give us the best base TTK value at about 320 milliseconds worth of TTK, which is not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. This also increases our fire rate and our bullet velocity quite nicely here. This does decrease our damage, but because it does increase our fire rate, the TTK value actually does stay similar to some of these other weapons, and it is slightly faster than something like an MO3 reinforced, despite this not decreasing our damage. So just keep this in mind here. The values are kind of misleading. Do just have to punch these into a TTK calculator, just work out what is best for yourself. Keep in mind here, the light tactical is also very, very interesting with the headshots on this thing. That is the fastest TTK you can get with this thing. If you get the headshots with this, I think it's like closer to 200, 180 milliseconds, which is actually quite nice. So just keep this in mind here. In the muzzle, we do take that sound suppressor for keeping us off the radar here when we do fire this thing. We want as many advantages as we can get with this thing. And the recoil with this gun is actually not too severe as it is. So being off the radar with this thing when we are firing is very, very nice. Then the underbarrel, we just take a foregrip here for 15% increase to our horizontal recoil control. Again, a very, very early unlock here. But again, you can take a field agent grip once you've unlocked that for a little bit more recoil control if you prefer that. Then in the magazine slot, we do have the 40 round mag. The 50 round mag is also a good option as well. An interesting attachment is the AX Primer Short Mag. This does actually decrease our magazine ammo capacity, but increases our bullet velocity and our aim down side speed. So this is an interesting consideration as well. But we're going with the 40 round mag to not reduce our aim down side speed. And the stock, Probably the only one that is really worth leveling up this for is the level 54 option in the Raider stock for sprint fire speed increase of 30% and 10% aim walking movement speed. But the CQB stock is also a sort of middle of the road option as well for more sprint to fire speed. But we've got the marathon stock because we haven't unlocked them yet. Now we could actually drop off the marathon stock or any of the stock options altogether and pick up an optic here. I'd prefer a Millstoff Reflex or a Microflex LED with this thing. But again, the iron sight is very, very interesting. Once you see this, once you use it, you're like, hmm. It's not really a fantastic option for picking like multiple targets. Like it is kind of hard to move to the next target with this thing with the peripheral vision that you get. But I mean, in an individual target in sort of not a hectic environment, it's actually not a bad iron sight here. So this is just an option you can go with if you prefer that. Alrighty, so we are on what Miami Strike, I think this is. We are featuring the build of the LARPA that does actually have the Microflex LED just to make it a little bit easier for us to see people. We've tried this a number of times already in this gameplay sort of session that we've been doing. And it is a bit tricky. It's a bit, wait. Wait, what's the... Hang on a minute. I... What? The minimap's really weird. I don't have a very large minimap. That's very strange. Anyway, as we were saying, with this... Oh, yep. Yeah, we're in trouble here. 
Yeah, that's okay. We got away. There's a guy on the outside here. Yeah, that's, yeah, good. Of course. Two people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, very standard. Very, very standard for one of these gameplay videos. Just dropping in here and getting two. Uh, okay. All right. I'll take it. <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. We're going to try and play very close quarters with this thing as we do for the most part. Want to get relatively fast kills. I feel like if they just had have made this thing like a 300 millisecond base TTK and like sort of balanced the various barrels around that number, this gun would have probably been one of the better going around. But at this, at this moment, like it's okay. Like it's not that bad, I guess. <laughs> like when you shoot people in the back, you're probably going to kill them most of the time. So I guess we can take that. We can take uh, take that to hold on to, I guess. But yeah, and for the most part, when you do get into a gunfight with people with this thing, it's it's a little it's a little lackluster. Or like for the most part, you will get outgunned by most things. We're just gonna run away. Jump up here and try and get him on the reverse angle. Nope, I don't know where he went, but we're going this way. Yeah, two people again. Of course, like we're <laughs> we go into a space where enemies are. And there's two of them. Every single time. But, you know, that is what it is. That is how these games work. I'm going to chuck the Semtex over there and wait for him to pick you. Oh, there he is. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got him. There's another guy coming this way and we're just going to wait for him. Yeah, we're going to go on this. Oh. Push up on him. What is happening here? What is What was happening with that gunfire? Like, how did that take so long? Okay, again. Again, we're just going to be playing in an area, and there's always going to be somebody behind us. I have to remember that now, because, yeah, this game is not going very well so far. It's just going to be one of those games, I think. Yeah, good on you. Yep, cool, that's fine. Yeah, it's going to be one of those games, I feel. Okay, that was a little bit rough. I mean, we keep forgetting to change our killstreaks back over. We did use the care package to unlock the LARPA. Because you do have to like get a scare package, which is a little weird, and it takes a long time sometimes. But I mean, let's try and get lucky here. We're just gonna try and defend this care package because I mean, we worked hard for it, and we wanna we wanna make the most use of whatever we get from it. So let's just try and try and look after it here. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Spy, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's not the worst thing I could have gotten. I guess could have gotten an RCXD, but I mean, bro, what are you doing? Like, where did that enemy go? We're being followed. Okay, there he is. What's that teammate up to? There's some goofy things happening in this game right now. Like, real goofy. It's behind me. Okay, we're leaving. We are leaving. Going up here? Okay, no, I guess when... What is happening in this game, man? It's like so many bad things happening at the same time. Like constantly flanked, like gas grenades everywhere. Always two people in gunfights. Like what? What did I? What did I do? Who did I hurt today to make the? Wait a second. Hello. That's unfortunate for him. Yeah, I feel like I did a bad thing earlier today to warrant this, but I can't remember, so. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of, uh... See, like... Yeah, yeah, at least he had a baseball bat and he wasn't actually about to kill me. If he was any closer to me, that would have been bad, but... You know, I think we got a little lucky there. Alright, we do have a war machine, though, and that is good. That is a good thing that has happened in this game, and that's, that's good. I like that. I don't know where any of the enemies are, though, because we don't have any information. Hello? Okay. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. No? Oof. We lived! He's in there? No? Yes, I love spawn protection. <laughs> I love spawn protection with this thing. It's so much fun. I love that. Oh. Okay. Okay, he didn't die. I thought he was dead. So <laughs> we stopped firing our gun. Oh, we're in a pretty rough spot because he as well because they're not spawning over there anymore. They're actually spawning this side and we just dropped our care package there. So we are in trouble here. Come on, just... 
All right, Napalm Strike is not the worst thing in the world. We're going to try and get rid of their Spy Plane as well with our Air Patrol. Two guys there, and we got both of them, or at least Old Matey got one of them. There's the guys on that area there. Somewhere there at least. All right, we're going to try and get a bit more information here. We'll run that through the middle. Dude. <laughs> get him. Hey, not bad, not bad. I think they're going to spawn here. They're going to spawn close to us, I feel, and we're going to try and get in a gunfight here. Come on. Come on. I know you... I know you want to come this way. Okay, I guess not. Oh, there he is. Hostile chopper gunner. Yep, natural. Just as I used. Just as I used our air patrol on a, a spy plane. Oh, hostile chopper gunner inbound. Like, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure there is. Hang on, what? Whoa. He was just coming through. He did not care about our trying to bait him at all. He did not care about us trying to fake him out. And he just kept running. And sometimes that's a play. Just press W and you'll probably get those kills sometimes. Like, it's just... Decent play by him. We gotta get inside. Free peek him. Come on. Yes, get out gunned, bro. That was a sniper. That was a sniper as well. That must feel absolutely terrible for him. I want, I want this kill. That's bad. That's really bad. Okay, we'll take it. Get inside. We need to be not outside right now. This is super sketchy, bro. Oh my god. The gunship is going sicko mode. We need two more kills to win. Come on, get me inside. Get me out of here. Come on. Let's be aggressive. Okay, one more. Yes. Yes, we got the dub. 30, 32 and 6 is a pretty good game with this thing. We'll have our final thoughts on this in just a second here, because I think the LARPA is... It's okay. So as you saw there, guys, the LARP is fine. Like, it's okay. It definitely has a not great TTK value. You do have to go for headshots with this thing, which is not ideal. But if you get that headshot, you take your TTK time down to about 240 milliseconds, which is not the worst thing in the game. This, if it did kill slightly faster, would actually be one of my favorite weapons. Just something about the way it fires, the way it sounds with the suppressor. I think it's a very, very cool addition to the game. It's not the best. The TTK is a little low. It's a little unfortunate for something that is supposed to be the last gun that they're adding to Cold War. So, like, you know, it is what it is here. But again, thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it. Of course, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on if you want to stay up to date with all of the rest of the Cold War content that we're coming out with. And when Vanguard does drop on the 5th, we will be transitioning this channel into making Vanguard videos, so don't miss out on any of that. And while you are taking a look at the subscribe button as well, make sure you hit the like button too, because that does get these videos to more eyes and help cut through the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much for watching, as I said, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!